Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techy. Today we're going to be taking a look at some aluminum and tempered glass goodness. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the Inwin 303 case. Uh, in this video we are going to cram an EK Waterblocks Predator 360 cooler into that case. Uh, it does have native support for 360 rads, although the way EK forces you to mount their 360 in certain orientations meant that we had to modify the case. Let's go ahead and take a look at the case and I'll go over some of the features. So as previously mentioned this is an aluminum case with a tempered glass side panel. Uh, it has a really neat quick release mechanism to remove that side panel. Uh, you're getting the majority of your intake air from the bottom. It does have fan mounts for three 120 millimeter fans at the bottom and up top is where I chose to put the radiator this again has 120 millimeter mounts only. This case does come with three SSD mounts in the front, although they only include two of the actual brackets. The third one was bought separately. Again, this is where I chose to mount the radiator. You can see the webbing here. I did have to cut out some of this webbing with a Dremel to get that Predator to fit in. Around back we have a uh, vertical alignment of your PSU and that is up top. Uh, here you can see the single 120 fan mount in the back uh, and then I believe seven PCIe slots. Moving to the other side of the case you can see they decided to carry on the web design. Uh, this side panel is held on by two thumb screws these thumb screws do stay in the side panel so that is definitely appreciated. Removing this you can see the inside where you have two hard drive or SSD mounts both brackets are included this time around and the power supply chamber itself. This is also where I chose to run the tubing for the Predator. Up front you can see the latch mechanism it is a bit stiff but satisfying to open and here is our Predator. So we did have to buy some fittings also brought some extra tubing although it ended up not being necessary and without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the build.
I had a lot of fun building in this case. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, temperatures looked great on it, exactly what I would expect out of a Predator 360. Uh, unfortunately, I no longer own this case. I've actually sold all of that gear uh, to one of my friends, so that build is no more. Um, that's going to do it for this one. So, upcoming, I have got a... I probably destroyed your ears by hitting the microphone. <clears throat> so upcoming, I do have a video with this ancient Corsair cooler. I was able to snag this cooler off of eBay for $18 shipped. Uh, works perfectly fine, included Intel mounting brackets, although I won't be using them for the project that I'm doing. Uh, make sure you get subscribed, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a good video, and we look forward to it. We'll see you in the next one.